Hello everyone, my name is Hisham. I'm the owner of Clemson Aeronautics, where we make the riveting and dimpling system. We're continuing with our horizontal stabilizer. <clears throat> right now we're at the point where we finished the caps here, uh, match drilling them. They did not have any holes in them, so we had to create holes for them from the side and from the flange side. And the plans and deburred everything before I put it back in because you have to uh, uh, make sure it's clean before we do this step here. No burrs whatsoever. We put the doubler uh, in place correctly. Just to, to emphasize, I think Vans talked about it a lot, but just to make sure this group of nine holes, these are on the bottom. They're going to be on the bottom like that. This is how it sits. So, but anyhow, the um, plans call for final drilling all the one-eighth holes to number 30. And this is what I'm about to do. Now there is four holes that's uh, number 12 we have to match drill those and um, in the plan it says um, final drill but uh, they actually don't exist in uh, in the cap so we're gonna have to match drill those And uh, <clears throat> now we're supposed to drill the two quarter inch holes and in the plans it calls to use the drill press and I suggest to follow the plans and use the drill press and this is exactly what I've done. Except I used a 1564 drill first to drill through then I used my quarter inch reamer to get it to size um, and it's perfectly perpendicular. I don't know what these holes are for but evidently it is so important so so I wanted the holes perfectly around that's why I used the reamer after that there is um, 12 holes that's um, supposed to be countersunk for flush rivet 426-4s and they have the drawing in the planes and what I done so you guys can see I did the same drawings uh, that's on the plane. I drew it with my marker on this, um, on the doubler, and um, I'm just gonna take that and go to the drill press to do it. But um, I don't see. Um, Okay, here's a thought. Uh, at this point, the planes are asking for two countersinks. Dash four countersink in the doubler, and a dash three countersink in this bar. And then after you do that, you disassemble everything and you make sure it's marked and all that stuff. Uh, number one, uh, the doubler, uh, need to be marked which one is facing for which side is missing facing forward because you can flip it over to the other side and you have everything backward but if you countersink it you can't miss it so you don't need to mark that if you countersink it you know it's forward as far as the caps is concerned yes you need to mark where these go but None of these have to be assembled to be able to do the countersinking. The countersinking of the uh, 
the top nine holes in the center and the bottom nine holes in the center of the, the front spar, you don't need the caps there to do the countersinking. They, it is kind of sunk for a, for a flush rivet and it doesn't go that deep. So I'm going to disassemble it and uh, do the, 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 the countersinking by itself. And this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.